you my Daiso from update. It's uh, let's see, it's day six, Thursday, February 27th. It is a beautiful, chilly day here in Nashville. Um, the sun is finally out. Someone said we got like more rain in the last six weeks than Seattle or something. It's been crazy. Um, but the sun is out, I'm trying to get a little sunshine and vitamin D, help myself feel gooder, feel gooder, feel better. Um, um, speaking of, for whatever reason, my brain is working really well today, better than usual. I took my second dose of Dysol from yesterday. I'm in a good mood. Maybe it's the sun, um, maybe it's the inhibition of my uh, dopamine beta hydroxylase enzyme that disulfiram will do and my dopamine levels are a little higher. Um, but I'm in a better mood than I've been in a while, so thankful for that. So, um, like I said, I took my second dose yesterday of 62.5 milligrams. No problems. Um, symptoms I'd been having lately, morning foot pain, some uh, like a quivering feeling on the bottom of my feet, calf pain, tightness, a lot of muscle twitching in the calves, thighs, shoulders, back, face, um, neck, a lot of neck pain, cracking, stiffness. Again, new stuff over the last several months to year or so. Um, um, so I want to talk about some questions I've got. How was I diagnosed and how long? Like I said, I've probably been several years, a couple years of feeling crummy before I sort of put my finger on what I thought the problem was. And Lyme is com complex. I don't I think there's a lot of facets to it, multi-layered illness. But um, one of the most useful tools that I use for me and my patients is this Horowitz um, MSIDS score. You can get that. Um, online I use it just a bunch of questions um, I think 38 questions that's why it's called the 38 point symptom checklist um, and you just run those questions and if someone scores 20 or below it's limes unlikely if it's like 21 to 45 it's probable possible and if it's like 46 or above, it's um, highly likely. So that's one of the first things I do when I suspect Lyme and myself or somebody is do that. Um, and that can be helpful. Of course, you know, it's not definitive, but nothing is in Lyme. The Lyme tests are notoriously negative, even when we're sure there is something to be concerned about. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about testing down the road and what I did. Um, I've decided not to endorse any specific products or at least get paid for it on this blog um, for a lot of reasons. I don't want that to affect sort of my professional judgment, I guess, for myself or anybody else. So I may endorse things or people, but it's not for any reason other than I like them. Um, I may figure out a way to get paid for this some other uh, some other time, but but not but not because of the, the blog here. So anything that I that I talk about, I don't make any money off of it. So um, I didn't do I, I'm not doing any antibiotics right now. And a few people have asked me why, especially especially with the concern about Bartonella. Um, my concern is persisters. That when you give antibiotics to Lyme, they're really good at hiding from them and making persister forms, and we don't feel like disulfiram does that. So I'm not going to use antibiotics right now. Um, I know Bartonella is a concern, and like Dr. Horowitz is using, I think, combination antibiotics with disulfiram because of the concern for Bartonella. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, we're fairly certain that disulfiram suppresses Bartonella. We're not sure if it kills it, like Borrelia and uh, Babesia. We'll see. Um, I do know that Dr. Afrin did a talk about using um, allergy medicines, um, not Zyrtec, I forget which one, an allergy medicine that, that actually um, sequestered manganese uh, or affected the manganese transporter to kill Bartonella. So I may look into that because that's kind of what I think disulfiram is doing. Um, sequestering copper and manganese and using that to kill these things so I may look into that and see if that would be good not an antibiotic but 
we'll see. Um, but right now I'm not doing that. I'm just doing disulfiram. And I'm not even doing any supplements yet except magnesium, but I'm probably going to add some things in, probably a binder, some B vitamins. I think I talked about that already. Um, initially, I thought I had ALS perhaps. I had a lot of muscle twitching and fatigue. Still do some, and I went to the neurologist and had him do an EMG, and I was just really worried and losing sleep about that. Because um, if you look up ALS symptoms, muscle twitching is one of the first ones you get. Um, so... There's even some wonder if ALS might just be a severe form of Lyme that people don't get a hold of fast enough. Um, Alright, so that's it. That's my update. I'm trying to keep these short and to the point. Five minutes. I know y'all have lots, lots of important things to do. Plus, we shouldn't be on the internet all night long looking at screens. So, we'll keep these short. Get outside when you can. Get some sunshine and fresh air. Um, y'all are awesome. Thanks for the comments. Uh, I'm, I was going to tell you to like and subscribe, but I feel like people know that already about YouTube. It's kind of like when you call someone's answering machine or you call their phone and the answering machine picks up and it tells you like how to leave a message. Like we haven't been doing that for 30 years. I think we know. So anyway, you know how to like and subscribe and leave comments. So do that and I'll try to comment when I can. Um, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.